Good morning, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. My name is Dan Campbell. On this episode of Tales of a Frigate Bird, we are going bass fishing at an undisclosed location somewhere in Hawaii. Very exciting stuff. Bass fishing, they introduced big mouth, small mouth, and peacock bass, my favorite, in the mid 50s. I've actually fished this location before. Um, these bass were introduced into man-made and into the river and stream systems here in Hawaii. Uh, but we are fishing man-made little spot today. And I know, oh, I think I know where there is a peacock bass. And that's what we're gonna try and nail first off this morning. I am fishing identical. Uh, two rods, identical setups. One monofilament and one braid. I've got every kind of bass lure known to man. So, let's get after it. Got my drone and two GoPros. Let's see if we can make an exciting episode if you're just tuning in for the first time. Tales of a Frigate Bird. My name is Dan Campbell. I'm from Australia. I live in Hawaii. Let's go fishing. Oh, wow. That was... I just lost everything. Lost the entire lure <laughs> and rig. So I'm switching over to the monofilament. We'll re-rig this one in a little bit. I think it's breaking because one of my eyes is missing the missing the piece. Jeez. Check your gear before you go fishing. Every time, especially when it's been sitting in the cupboard for months. Six months maybe. Alright. Monofilament. This little guy right here. Let's do this. Rah. <laughs> huh? Ha. Oh. A real rat. There's bass in here. Normally I'd walk down the little creek, but I really don't want to disturb the water. It's a lot lower than normal. So I'm gonna kind of sneak around the side. And I know that there's at least two decent sized bass in here. <coughs> Peacock bass actually. There's a lot of stick in here, so it's really hard to get a good cast in. Um, so I'm going to try and sight see this guy first and set up my shot. Uh, right, here we go. Oof. I don't know if I can even get a cast in here, it's so low. Wow. Alright. Gonna have to go in the water. Not what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can spot them. They will come right up into the shallow here. He'll be sitting over in here somewhere. If I can, I'll try and get a cast in over there. Normally this is about yay deep. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll get over there, try and find myself a decent spot. Just kind of looking everywhere without disturbing it too much. There's a spider. Hey bud. Come on, 
come on, that's a great shot. Oh, you. Oh, that Lewis. Okay, that Lewis swims well. Ooh, we're gonna catch something here. That lure is sick. Wow. And it floats. All right. Okay, I like this. We're going that way. Jeez, this is normally a great little spot here, but it's particularly low. And I think that's the way they feed the water into these ponds. All right. Let's get deep. Peacock bass. They're elusive little fuckers. This is where they live. Look. Where'd he go? They love it up here in the shallows. Look, this next little zone hasn't been touched in a long time. Usual. Look, there's one. No, those aren't bass, but you can see them right there. I'll point them out. See them there? Actually, I don't think it's bass. <gasps> it spooked them. Look at them. Gone. Shit. It's just so shallow right now. Ooh. So, kind of, it is so shallow than normal. There are big frogs in here. But I'm pretty sure I just saw a. Pretty sure I just saw a, a fish of substance push a little bow wave down in the back of these sticks. But there's no way I'm going to get a lure in here. I do know that it opens up a little bit more down there and gets deeper. What a cool zone. Geez, you wouldn't want to do this in Australia. You'd be standing on all kinds of poisonous things. So we're really just going as slow and as gentle as possible because there's hardly any movement in this pond. Any kind of ripple that goes across is going to catch and they're going to know. And that can do two things. One, you can make them shy and bugger off. Or two, you can make them a little bit feisty and fired up. I'm hoping for the latter. How's this spot? Full of eucalyptus. Man-made as it comes. Introduced from Australia. I think the peacock bass maybe were brought in from South Africa. I'll have to look that one up. But I thought they were native to South America. So we'll have to goggle that one. All right, let's keep going. That, my friends, is a beautiful, handsome peacock bass ah. if I can just get down ah. and get him Oh, bud. 
Wow. Look at that. Peacock bass. You are beautiful. <clears throat> well, that was awesome. So it's just way too shallow where I normally walk through and it's too easy to spook them. So being the shallow, I'm gonna actually walk out and fish and, and cast into the into the mangrove well, into the into the trees. And hopefully not spook them. It's way, way shallower than normal. Um, which is a bit of a bugger, and it's the middle of the day. Oh, and I've got a fishing rod in my backpack. I'm just catching all the trees right now. Anyway, I still got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some days I wonder why I even enjoy this. Nah, I love it actually. All right, look at this zone. We can't get something out of in there. Doing something wrong. <laughs> there he saw me. Oh, that was a bash. Oh, next to the goldfish. Damn it. First real hit. Oh, okay, we're gonna change lures here. Should I hook this guy? Huh? Oh, that was a good hit. This is why braid sucks. Look at that. What a nightmare. Let's hook the fucker. Huh? Game on, you reckon. So I'm not sure what's going on today. The top ponds are shallow. These bottom ponds have got more water on them. Um, I have caught fish in this one. It's still got that red tinge to it. I know there's a bunch of logs. Look, there's turtles everywhere. There's fish here. Mm. Man. Oh, look at that. How's those ripples? Yeah? Let's just see. Here we go. Oh, good! Good bass. Oh, no, it's not a bass. How's that thing? Whoa. Oh, I can't. He just got smashed. Jeez, bud. Huh? He just smashed that thing. Holy moly. <clears throat> really? This is... Another one. Hmm. Oh. 
Might have made a wrong step here. Lucky I got my phone and my Aloha bag. Camera on, fish on. Beautiful. I'm balancing pretty tight here. Here we go. Number two for the day. You are I'll be very gentle with them. Barbless hooks. That is not a peacock bass. That is a smallmouth. What a beautiful specimen. I didn't even know that we had these here. Hi, Vichy. All right. Thank you, buddy. Oh, what? A little bass fishing. Thank you, bud. Finally. <clears throat> Jeez, took long enough, bro. Hmm? Little bassy bass. Go get him, tiger. This is the shit we do to go fishing. Look at these things. Bush guavas. Hmm. Hmm. This is the real deal. All right. Finally. Give me another bass. Oh, look at them all down there. Look at the size of that peacock bass right there. Holy shit.
small fish on. What do we got here? First one of the day. to get the afternoon started I meant to know how to tell the big mouth from the small mouth the big mouth the jaw goes past the eye maybe okay next one I catch I'll have a look closely <laughs> all right let's keep on going downstream oh, barely even just slightly on look at this guy little guy So that's a small mouth. All right, just go back in the water. Why oh, are they not sitting in the rapid? Oh, on. Hey, there we go. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Come on. Oh, another one shot off to the side there. Beautiful. Yeah, guy. Look at you, mate. What a beautiful fish. Small mouth bass. <laughs> Freedom! Come on, baby. Kind of trying to treat this like I was home in North Queensland, Australia, and fished the little rapids. So I don't really know what where bass go. I'm, I'm, my bass fishing experience is very limited. Um, but I'm trying to fish these little deep pools in the rapids. No luck yet. This pool down here might produce something, but pretty cool creek. I hope I can get one in the rapids. It would be just kind of like home. Anyway, moving forwards. Where to toss? <laughs> Where do you throw the first car? Ooh. Along the back edge here. At the waterfall. Ooh. On. Oh. Oh my god, yes, we're on. Here's a good one. Nice fish. Bottom of the pool. Smallmouth bash. Beautiful. Good size. Ah! <laughs> 
And he's gone. This has big fish written all over it. Let's see if we can't get one. Here we go. They're right there, they're right there. They're coming. Oh my. There's some big bass right there. <laughs> but I bet there's bass under this everywhere. What a cool zone. Beautiful. Filming with my GoPro, man. I just wanna get lost with you. He just ate it, he just ate it. Oh, you fucker. Go, see that pile right there? That's his swimmer. And look, he's swimming right below my rod tip right there. There you go. Oh my God, you're gonna get him. He's gonna eat it. You see him? He's coming after it. On, no. He's mouthing it. There you go. <laughs> How is he not hooking? Ah, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Fish on. Oh, God. <laughs> Got some logs. No, no, way. <laughs> here he is here. But Cal, I want to film it, so come. He's not, he almost took my fly, but he doesn't want it. Just let him, let him eat it, let him eat it. He, he dropped it, eh? He's on. Oh, he's on. Yep. <gasps> He'll do it again. Oh, you. Look at the little one. <laughs> okay, we need... Oh, look at him chase that other one. He need a live... He's a good one, eh? Show him where the big one is, he's just noshing. We on. <laughs> That's one bass, bass, my boy. Look at the size of this fish. Save those worms. Oh, what? Okay. Ah. There's a good sized bass. Here, I can hold him. Or do you want to try hold him? Put your hands underneath like mine. Two hands underneath. There you go. Got him? Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is a good bass. Okay, well, I want you to put him in the water in front of the camera. Wait, in the water? Yeah, in the water right below you. Yep. Go. Oh, on. Yeah, Ivan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here, bring him to me. <laughs> What'd you catch? Bass. <laughs> <laughs> no, small. Small one. He's pretty good. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, well, they're on the bite now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. They do? I think so. Whoa. He looks. Maybe you gotta stick your tongue in it. Uh... Look at that guy. Shall we do an underwater shot? Hey, I want you to swim away nicely. For the camera, for the camera. Oh, guy. Save my worm. Yes. He makes the best bait for bass. Mm. Yeah. Look at the size of that thing. Whoa. Look, Look at these nippers. Hey, if it'll be safe in there. Look at that thing. Damn. Wow. People do eat that. Look at him. Let's take him up and I'll... Uh... <clears throat> hmm? Under its legs. Look at that guy. Oh. Hey, where's your nipple? <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Come on, do it. No, do it. No. <laughs> Should I do it? Yeah. Okay, let's let him go. Can I hold it? Put it down. Yeah. Fifth day, bass fishing, fifth and final day, and I got a special invite to a private property and a private pond known to have peacock bass in it. Farmer's taking me there right now. <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty special, I have to say. Hi Carl. To be able to come and fish a private pond on private property the peacock bass in Hawaii. What a great way to close out this episode. Look at this pond over here. Oh my, what a spot. I hope they're really big. Oh, this is really cool and really, really, really generous of the farmer to allow me access in here. This is freaking epic, all right. Wish us luck, let's go catch some bass. Look at this, Hawaii, what a spot. So cool man, those are all roosters. Very much overgrown like you said. There's pigs everywhere. You can see back in there, this is a man-made little pond. He's fenced it off because apparently the cows get in there and they get stuck. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time here. I have everything I'm gonna try with my light set up right now and see if we can't get one on. If they're big, I can see ripples in the water. If they're too big, I'm gonna come back to the car and trade out for something a little bit more substantial. I have also put in my fly rod. Um, all right, wish me luck. Let's go bass fishing. First cast. Fish here, but very shallow. Deeper, fishing spot over there. This bank 
here, over in that corner. Calapia. Tons of them. Check out these uh, pig wallows. Lots of piggies. <laughs> Lots of piggies here. They've been crossing right here. So manky. It's really hard for you to see, but there's just hundreds of tilapia right there. And my guess is, with that many tilapia, the bass population is now really low. There's too much food. Maybe it'll bring me good luck. All right. Come on. <clears throat> on the back side of the pond right now, pigs have had a freaking field there. Look at this. Oh. Just noshed it all. Look at these beautiful gingers. Epic. Look at this. All eaten by pigs. Wild pigs. This looks like a herd of like 40 to 50. Cleaned it up and living here. Trails everywhere. Walking down the backside of the dam, the pond, next to the little creek. It's like a freaking palm tree rainforest back here. Full of pig washout and diggings. I might be in the wrong sport here. Feel like I need a couple of dogs, a gun and a pig knife. Anyway, I think there's a little bit of deep water just down here. I'm gonna go and have a look because I don't seem to be getting anything out of the pond. Just too full of tilapia, I think. Well, <laughs> uh, it was a good try. No peacock bass. No bass whatsoever, actually. Um, it's been a while since I think anyone's been here. It is chock full of tilapia, like I've never seen. Thousands and thousands of them. So, two things, I don't know. Maybe the tilapia can outbreed or out, like a small man-made pond like this can just push the bass to extinction. Um, you know, eat their eggs and stuff like that. Or they're just so well fed they are not interested in taking a lure. Pretty cool little spot. I'm gonna put the drone up so we can see it from the air, see if there's anything um, further upstream or downstream from it. I'm pretty sure this is the only spot. But um, I have permission to come back anytime I want. And I would love to see a good little rainstorm come through and clear this out, clear the wood out. Um, so yeah. Next time we get a flood and a good rainstorm, I'll we'll give it a week or two afterwards and come up here and see if we can't get one. That will be an episode in the future. But for now, ooh, I can't just end it like this. So we're gonna go and have one more try on the river for just um, a couple of big, small or big mouth bass. Cause I gotta end the show with some action, right? All right. That was fun. Let's do it. Final day. Come on. Some good looking roosters. <laughs> huh. I did not think you would take it. Whoa. Third cast. Good size one. Everyone swims here, so I was shocked that he'd take this. That's a good start to the day. This little is cherry. Wow. Lovely looking fish. Oh, wow. Hi, bud. It's 
Small mouth bass. Get him, bud. Go get him. There you go. <laughs> 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 ah, sick. One down. down this run with the kids and Kelsey the other day you saw us catch a couple I am returning my final spot five days fishing for bass in Hawaii different setups I got my fly rod and then I have the very same fly rod with a little spinner on it um, I just maybe I can pretend I caught one on the fly rod but I actually caught it on a worm nah I'm not gonna do that but the fly rod has a lot more reach and from the other day, I could get the bait really, really close to the bass, like standing 10 or 15 feet away from it. So the fly rod's actually gonna work in my favor. It has been raining and the river is actually about a foot, whoa, 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 about a foot higher, a little bit murkier, but still clean enough to see them very first cast I just did where I parked the truck and got a little bass on um, so they fired up and a lot of people swim right where I parked so to catch one there is it good luck I don't know we will see we're coming up on my first corner just down here where we were the other day with the kids what's gonna bite today well we will see will it be the spinner rod or the fly rod got a bunch of different flies so I can switch out colors it seems like they're liking something a little bit bigger and I thought they would be liking something a little smaller. Let's go give it a try. We have almost got to where I wanted to be. This pond down here is where the big bass was the other day. So <laughs> Funny story, returning here on the fifth and final day. The reason why I am returning here is I really didn't know too much about catching bass. And first day here, I was so excited with the size of the one that was here. I kept hitting the record button to turn the camera off when I got a fish on and turning it off when I had a fish off or turning it on when I had a no fish on um, and then I also my other camera formatted the CF card before downloading the footage onto the freaking hard drive so this is all about catching a big bass but more so redemption can I catch him and can I catch him on camera Fingers crossed. I'm even gonna put the drone in the air. And hopefully we can end off the show with a bang. Let's go get him. Yes, he took it. You beauty. Couldn't help yourself, could you, bud? Finally. Oh. Come on. 
come on. Beautiful. Come on. Finally. Finally got this bugger. Look at him. He's a good one. Oosh. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, man. I can go home now. This is everything I wanted right here. You better come to me. You better come to me, man. Oh, he walked it down, didn't you? Come on, bud, let's get you. Yes, sir. Finally. Hope I'm recording. Yes, we are. That's the one. Good size bass. Wow. Mm. Real good one. Aren't you, bud? Mm. Look at that. Beautiful relief. Yes, got him. Got him on bait. Five days of bass fishing in Hawaii. I finally got the big boy I was after on bait. I've been flying, I've been trying spinners, everything known to man, the fly rod, the whole lot. And I finally just got him on bait in this pool. After 45 minutes, I've been chasing this bugger for a while. I wish I got him on drone, but I didn't. But that is an awesome way to finish off this episode, bass fishing in Hawaii. My name is Dan Campbell. I'm from Australia. I live in Hawaii. Tales of a frigate bird. That is a wrap on this episode. I will see you on the next one. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes! That was awesome. I'm out of here. On again. Another one. Wow. Who likes that? Hmm? The little red fish. Irresistible. I had to try one more time. <laughs> I think I just found the bait of choice. We'll keep that one a secret. Thanks, bud. Go get him. On with the other big one. Oh, you guys are suckers for this shit. Wow. Yes, sir. You guys cannot help yourselves, can you? Well, I just found the bait. Wow. That's epic. You might have to go to the pond. Look at that guy. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's call that a successful afternoon. All right, bud, let's get you back in there. Sick. Different fish. Bent the hook.
bloody marvellous. Huh? Let me go over here so I can get the underwater shot. What a fish. Huh? Yeah, bud. You gonna swim into the camera, mate? 